This is the user guide to our school management system in Excel. My name is Yura Morales from Excel Gurus. We have just added the accounting module to our system. So before we go through the accounting module, we want to do an overview of the features. Now when you go to setting, you can close the school year and you can also do the setting of your school. Now if you move to this module, you can also receive payments from student fees payments and you can update existing payment and you can send the receipt of all, of all of the payments to parents so that they can know the status of their child's fees now in the student management you can add new student you can include a picture of that student and you can also update existing student now we also updated the report so when you generate your report the report is now in your table form to be well presented the report now is in your table form so you can generate the report of the student management then you can also delete students that left you can delete students that left your institution now you can also promote at the end of the year you can promote all of the students just by doing one click now we also have the instructor management in the instructor management you can add a new instructor you can update existing one and uh, you can change the information of the instructor now this is the accounting module we just added so basically in this module all you need to do is just to book your entry once you book your entry you see here here is the chart of accounts so you have the chart of accounts and you can modify it to customize your system and you can also generate the trial balance so for the trial balance we don't have any transaction the trial balance is reading zero no transaction done in the trial balance then you have the rate you can also change your reporting rate now we have the balance sheet this is the balance sheet format the balance sheet is reading zero check because we haven't done any transaction then we also go to the PL report, the PL statement. When you go to the PL revenue less the expense, you see it's also reading zero. So we are going to go to the close of accounting year. We see what happens when you close the accounting year. Then we are also going to go to the transaction details later. But before we go there, we want to book few entries because as you notice when we generated the trial balance we had zero no transaction so we want to debit cash we want to recognize the initial investment that we did for the school which is the shareholder stock or the shareholders equity so we are going to credit increase the share capital and we are going to book this entry to recognize our first journal entry so we are doing this entry so that you can see that the balance sheet and the income statement will always balance the trial balance will always balance now we want to select the date we also want to select the currency if you fail to select any of these options the transaction will not be posted it's going to tell you that you haven't selected a particular field to, to, to fill in now we also want to purchase building we want to purchase building and we want to spend cash so we are going to post this journal we are going to post this transaction we want to purchase the building so once you post it tells you that it is successful now we want to do another transaction we want to select the currency which is us dollar this time around we want to debit cash we want to debit cash we want, we want to debit cash and we also want to recognize the we also want to recognize the income from fees so when students pay tuition is an income so we want to recognize this income then we say okay then we also want to go back and do another transaction we want to go back and do another transaction Liberian dollars transaction we want to recognize the salary expense so we pay our instructors we want to recognize the salary expense 
we debit the salary expense so let us take Liberian dollars then we want to pay out cash we are paying out cash so we are going to credit cash now if you look on the right you can see the hints to tell you what account to debit what account to credit if you want to increase the asset you should debit now we are going to book this journal we are going to book this transaction once we put in the description then we press ok this is transaction posted successfully now when that is done we want to generate the trial balance you see the trial balance is reading zero meaning the trial balance balance your trial balance should always be zero then you know your trial balance is correct you can put in the exchange rate in the red then we want to go back to the balance sheet so you see the balance sheet the balance sheet check is okay the asset is equal to the liability plus the owner's equity so you see the current year's profit is there the current year's profit is there and you see the retain any is zero from prior year now we want to go and generate the profit and loss statement when you generate the profit and loss statement you see that we have salary expense and we have tuition income so you see the salary expense and the tuition income so we have the income is there so we want to now go to the transaction details the transaction details is there for auditors to be able to audit the system so when you try going there it's going to ask you for password because you don't want people to go to the transaction detail and change the information so once you put in the password it takes you to the transaction details and we have the password there that you can change of your choice if you don't want to use what we have because the current password is that if you don't want to use it you can change it to anything just don't forget what you will change it to so this is the transaction detail which is protected by a password then we also have the close of accounting year once you close the accounting year all of the PL transactions will go to zero all of the temporary accounts will go to zero then the retain earning will go to the the the, the retain earning the p and l transaction will go to the retain earning so let us do it let us click let us close the accounting year when you close the accounting year it tells you that do you want to close the year so when you close the accounting year now when you go back to the p and l you see the p and l is zero the p and l is zero meaning all of the transactions that were in the p and l account goes to the retain earning so you notice that the retain earning now has the profit from the previous year and the current year is zero so we don't have any information for the current year so once you close the accounting year all of your p and l accounts goes to zero and it is now transferred to the retain earning so basically this is our system and you have the hints here and we'll be coming up with accounting system in excel so still tuned